Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, first of all, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification bells, all that stuff. In this video, what we're gonna talk about is shadowing is a heck of a lot easier to do when you understand the backswing. Everybody's gonna go, wait a minute, wait a minute, shadowing's for the downswing. True, but when you understand the backswing, it's gonna make things a whole heck of a lot easier. I'd like to apologize firsthand. I've had a bit of a, been under the weather with a little bit of a cold, but so if my voice fluctuates in and out, I apologize about that. But to understand how to shallow in the downswing, we first need to understand what we're doing in the backswing. See, I was watching some videos online the other day and they're talking about how every great player gets this arm, gets this shaft coming up this right forearm to get to the top. Now, let me show you this. When they do it, they're going right up that forearm, they get to the top, and you're in this really dynamic position to where you should come down and be able to shallow the golf club. Now, the, what they also show here is how people, they come under this arm, and then they show how they went up this arm to be able to get to the top, okay? What if I told you there's an easier way? And this is something that Mr. Hogan understood. It wasn't the simple fact. I mean, he's doing a lot of stuff, Mr. Hogan, that just people just do not do today. Okay, now I can stand up here and try to make us all become a clone of Mr. Hogan and all this stuff, but that's, that's not what this channel is about. It is about teaching you some of the fundamental things that Mr. Hogan did so that you can apply them to your golf swing so that you can start, you know, striking the ball the best that you can. Be a world-class ball striker. It doesn't matter. Everybody's going to say, well, wait a minute. The guys on TV, they're not swinging this way. No, they sure are not. And the reason for that is they have been taught the traditional swing. Most guys that are, <clears throat> excuse me, playing on the PGA Tour, they're under 50, right? Hogan instruction went out the door 50 years ago. Most of them that are playing on tour are in their 30s, mid-30s, some are in their early 20s, whatever. There's a variety of different guys, and they're all doing to the best of their ability the modern golf swing. But let's look at the difference right now. I said these guys right now were talking like, hey, taking this shaft up to here is a really good thing. So then it gets up, it's above my shoulder plane, and then to shallow it, I have to drop it back down on plane. So watch this again. They get here. They're going to say, take it up that right forearm to here. You know, Tiger does it. JT does it. Uh, all of them do it because it's what they've been taught. They're just here. And then they take it right up that forearm. Then they go to the top. Okay. That is not easy to time when you're coming down. And it creates a lot of shadowing issues for most recreational players. So instead of where they were saying, don't come under here. Yeah, this is a no-no, okay? But watch this. I'm going to go here like we do, and then I'm going to take that there. Now look how that shaft is lined up to my forearm, being this way, right? If I do it this way and I go up the forearm, it's this is the only way it can go. It's going this way. But when I'm saying, look, all we want to do is get it to go around our body. See how this club jab can drag on the bicep curl that we need. This way, going up the forearm here, now this is on this side to where this is the only way I can do the bicep curl. And believe it or not, the better you can get at this makes this a heck of a lot easier. Because look at where my hand's at right here. I said curl, right? But watch where I just got to. Here, same position. Keep this in your mind. So I went to the top. Now I'm going to come down. Guys, it's the same position. See how I just changed my body? Watch this. Here, see how I'm looking at you? Now I'm going to go to the top with the right hand. Now I'm just going to come back to that position. It's the same thing. So when I shallow the club... But he's looking at it going, oh my gosh, you're saying all these things. But look at that. This is in the same position as when I've allowed it 
to move around my body. And then when I get to the top, everybody's like, wow, that's pretty flat. Well, guess what? It's not because I'm coming right back into this shallow position, lined up with the right form, hands roll down as I come through. You should absolutely give this a shot. Once you can understand how simple it is to make your hands get onto the side of you and then go to the top, and then there's our rebound, and then here we come. And when we're coming back down into the ball, we never left this plane, if you want to think of it that way. Or we never left this, what I'm going to call the laid-off position instead of a vertical position. Because think about this. If I'm here and I'm going up this forearm and picking my hands up, and then I'm going to try to shallow it or shallow it or pull the arms down real fast, and then try to turn my body. Those things create a plethora of problems, you know, for the average golfer. Think about it. It's kind of like tapping your head and running, rubbing your tummy. I can't do it. I've told you guys I can't do it for a while now. But I am not getting up here and going, my hands are up, drop them in the slot, come through, stand up, push the ball to the right, blah, blah, whatever. But if you can take this club, and you're able to go around you into the God-given power angles that we've got, and then I'm tilted forward, so as I'm going around, look how it looks like my hands are still going up. They are. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to start unwinding. Look how this is all staying on this same path. Went back on one path, it's coming down on one path. You do not have to manipulate anything. You guys can remember, I showed you the drill. Right hand, right palm, trail hand facing up, lead palm facing down. And then we just get in our posture. We can stand up and we can go like this all day long, right? Well, I'm in my posture here. This is where I need to have the club. You can see how it's right on that bicep curl. So then from here, it's just... There, coming down, coming down. And look at everything is on this side. And now at this point, of course, I'm releasing and going left. It gets pretty simple, guys. Do the drill, get this club, and, I, and it doesn't matter. I don't care what, you know, guys on, you know, how the guys on TV are swinging. I don't care how all these guys on YouTube are telling you, get this shaft matched up this way to that forearm to where it's like, this, that's that ain't it, guys. This and this is a huge difference because when you get up here and say I've gone this way and I take that club up, now I have to drop it. I have to drop it. And then from here, it's like keep your back to the target, drop it, come down and all these different things. It's very difficult for you to time. It's very difficult for anybody to time. Okay, and that's why the guys on TV, some weeks they are the best players in the world. Some weeks they don't even make the cut because this timing of this up and down with rotation is very difficult to time out. And unless you can time it perfectly, which when those guys do, they get hot for the week, they end up winning or they're in the top five. And then they carry it for a week or two and then, you know, maybe we'll hear from them again, maybe we won't. It's real simple though. Put all of that stuff aside and start saying to your brain logically, what's the best way for me to take this club head and move it around my body? Is it this way? Or is it to pick it up and go away up here somewhere and then try to drop it in the slot and then try to turn? Ask yourself. You'll figure it out. Again, make sure you check out the masterclass because I absolutely guarantee you it's going to improve your golf swing and your game. We'll see you in the next video.